business, start your own business, or you already have your own business, but you want to manifest a massive level up in there, then you're going to want to use the Manifesting Millions Blueprint. So that includes sales strategy, business strategy, business development, manifesting clients, the millionaire uh, mindset, and all my manifestation resources in one. So it's like a 360 approach for business owners. Um, it's on sale. Use discount code MANIFEST. It's linked in bio. I do have a free class. It's also linked on my bio. So if you go to my stand store on my TikTok page, um, you'll see at the very top, I have a free masterclass. And that's all about manifesting money online. Congratulations on the house. Thank you so much, bestie. How to attract new friends by talking like you have them, feeling like you have them, treating yourself like you're the ultimate prize. Um, going to places that you would like to have friends at like where would you go if you have friends right take yourself to those locations that way you can start attracting high value friendships too and be a good friend to yourself take care of yourself honor your boundaries pour into yourself support yourself trust yourself be a best friend to yourself so you can attract really good friends too Any advice for communication? You communicate your points so well from A to B in every video. Um, I don't really have any tips on communication. I feel like when you have topics that you're very passionate about sharing, it just kind of flows naturally. Um, it comes with practice, like how to clearly articulate yourself. I've been doing this for years now, so it flows very naturally for me. I feel like, in the, but I still, you know, I still mess up. I still stutter. I still have to start my videos over a hundred times when I'm filming myself. Um, so it still happens. You just get better with time. You got to practice. You got to learn your style of speaking, your way to convey your own messages. Um, and if it's a topic that you really enjoy and you really love, you're going to be good at it. Like it's going to, it's going to, it's going to feel like something takes over you and is talking through you where you don't even really have to think about what you're saying. Yes, I did have a fear of being seen when I started, but my desire to grow and my desire to succeed was so much bigger than that fear that I leaned into the faith of the outcome a lot more than the fear of it. And I use a lot of nervous system regulation to work through those fears too. Is it worth it to go to a university now? Um, it depends, what do you wanna do? Your vibes are so, thank you. My one-on-one -on -one wait list is closed. So the only way you can work with me right now is through the Manifestation Academy um, or the, the Business Blueprint. So those are my two programs that I offer. How to get back into LOA after losing faith by trying again. Um, diving into information that supports these messages and these topics, um, you know, really submerging your subconscious mind with the right books, with the right information, the right podcasts, the right lesson plans, the right videos to really spice up your belief in this stuff again, um, because it's working whether you believe in it or not, you know, so you might as well be using it in your favor. How to get out of debt by changing your relationship with money. So changing the way you speak about it, the way that you think about it, and the way that you feel about it. Those are the three main components to changing your identity around money. How did you go about pricing your one-on-one -on -one sessions when you first started? I think my first, oh my God, I don't remember. 
think my first um one-on-one -on -one client it was like an hour session for $200 in the very beginning. And then it went to $300, $400. I think the highest I reached was like $500 for a two hour session, something like that. And then um, once my wait list was so packed, I would take on people and do like packages. So I would give them packages of meeting with me once a week for two months, three months, and then I would price it accordingly. It would be like a couple thousand dollars for those packages. Um, and then I just start, started to create passive programs like the workshop, like the academy, like the blueprint now for uh, business owners. So that way my time is freed up and that I'm not always seeing one-on-one -on -one clients anymore. All of my book recommendations are listed on my Instagram under Q&A highlights. I have a ton of them in there if you want to read through it. Is the blueprint still on sale? Yes, it is. It's on sale this weekend. If you want to download it, the discount code is manifest. You're going to be saving 45%. I just want to say your identity teachings have transformed my world and are the best I ever heard. Thank you, Monica. I'm so glad to hear that. You deserve the world, honestly. What are your thoughts on tarot readings? So tarot readings are more so just reflections of your current set of beliefs. They're not like creating your reality for you unless you give them the power to. So you know you want to ask yourself am i in charge of my life or is someone else in charge of my life and then you'll kind of learn like who to give your power away to or reserve i i suggest reserving your power your creative ability for yourself um, but tarot readings can be fun they can show you if you're on the right path currently right if you're in the right state of mind to get the things that you want but um, if you don't like it, if it doesn't resonate with you, if it goes against what you're manifesting, you don't have to take it as something that's like set in stone because you're the one in control of your reality. You're in control of your fate. You're in control of what you're creating. Thank you so much, bestie. I'm having surgery November, weight loss, how to stop dwelling and keep calm. Well, Bessie, that's super exciting. Congratulations on booking your surgery. Um, you want to celebrate the outcome of it to stay calm and to stay happy about it. If you're going to go uh, and um, get a cosmetic procedure done, you always want to assume the best possible outcome. It's going to go incredible. You want to look at success stories. You want to um, remind yourself that you get the best of the best results. You're entitled to the best results. Your body loves you. It's going to heal itself as quickly as possible. Um, so you want to talk your way into it. If this is what you want, do it. Go for it. Feel good about it. Get excited about it. Cosmetic procedures have changed people's lives, especially when it comes to like weight loss surgery, um, skin removal, right? Like these are life changing procedures. Um, so celebrate the outcome as if it's already gone really, really well for you. The better that you feel about it, normally the better the outcome is. <laughs> 